All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start my lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, the Bond City Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is Aratiza, once again from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp with another um quick video. All right, and uh, this video is going to be based upon uh, a uh, new movie that I, you know, I suppose is coming out, uh, you know, soon. And this was, uh, you know, sent into the uh, group chat that we have by um, a brother. All right, it's a movie uh, based upon uh, a play. All right, that's written by, uh, I believe, William Shakespeare, called "The Tragedy of Macbeth." And uh, you know. Uh, Denzel Washington is going to be starting in the movie, which you see here. I typed in uh, Denzel Macbeth, and these are some of the, the stills from the movie here that they have. All right. Um, you know, as you can see there, he's playing Macbeth, and rightfully so. All right. Because, you know, Jake was uh, ruling during that time of William Shakespeare, which, you know, William Shakespeare himself was a Jake or so-called black man, you know, that's another topic for another day, but, uh, you know, what, what prompted me to do this quick video, man, I, I was checking out the trailer, all right, you know, which you might want to check it out, I'm not going to play it, because, uh, you know, I might get a copyright strike when you deal with the movies and whatnot, They're, you know, YouTube is real tricky with that, so you could check the trailer out for yourself, but it, it, it man, this movie looks real good, man. And from what I see, it looks like Denzel, which he plays Macbeth, it looks like he's knocking off, he's knocking off a lot of Edomites, man. Because when you look to the, uh, when you look up the um, synopsis, because I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with Macbeth. I might have read about it in school or maybe watched a play when I was younger, but I really don't remember the premises. So I had looked it up. All right. Tragedy of Macbeth. You look it up on Wikipedia and you read the synopsis here. It says, uh. It says a brave Scottish, right? You know, which the apostles and elders have went into the word Scottish. Scott means black and Ish means man. So essentially a brave black man, so-called black man. All right. It says a brave Scottish general named Macbeth receives a prophecy from a trio of witches that one day he will become king of Scotland. You know, with Scotland also, of course, you know, as I mentioned, the word Scott means black. So the black land. All right. In which, um, you know, that's where you get uh, King James, who um, authorized the translation of the Bible, the King James Bible. He he was a so-called black man. So this is really our history. This is a, a play, you know, that William Shakespeare put together that's based upon our history. So this first statement I read here, which is, is a, you see the prophecy that what he would one day become king. So and I'm then I'm watching the trailer, you know, and how he's just basically going through and he's basically it, it looks like he's putting a lot of Edomites to death. So that correlates with the scriptures. All right. And then just to add, you know, all right, before I get into the scriptures, just to add, even the the the, the uh, thumbnail that the uh that the video had, you know, he looks like Yahweh Shai in the uh 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 you know, the picture. Matter of fact, let me see if I could pull it up here. Of course, you know, right there, he kind of looks like Yahweh Shai. You know, he's, you know, he's got the beard, but it's a better one than I'm going to have as the uh, as a thumbnail to this video. Let's see. Denzel Macbeth. Let's see. Trailer. Um... Yeah, they don't all, uh, damn, they don't, they don't have the one, um, matter of fact, hold up, let's see, there we go, that's the spirit, so you see that, you see that top one at the top, I said, man, that looked like Howard Shy. you know, he got the, he got the rugged, you know, uh, 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 white, white beard, you know, and he got that crown, I said, man, that, that looked like the Lord right there, man, so that's spiritual, See, and he got the you know the one on the bottom right there. So it's heavy, man. 
So basically what scriptures came to mind is the scriptures dealing with vengeance because that looks like what he's he's doing in the uh, movie. Bringing vengeance upon these goddamn Edomites, man, these so-called white people. So when you get into the scriptures, all right, so when the first one came to mind, Psalms 149 and 6, it's like here, 5. You get to the point. It says, let the saints... Be joyful in glory. Who are the saints? The Israelites. The word saints means the holy ones or the ones who were separated. You know, it was the scripture say who was separated into Yahweh Shimei Shah, the Israelites, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. So it says, let them sing loud, aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. And punishments upon the people. This is what's about to take place in the earth. Okay, the Heavenly Father is going to give his people power, all right, mainly the elect. All right, the elect men are going to receive power and they're going to execute vengeance upon the heathen because why? The, the, the heathens did us wrong. You know, they effed us over, so to speak. Rape, robbed, and murder, put us in slavery, stole our land, you know. They disrespected our power, so the Lord's gonna allow us to get allow us to get vengeance on them. You know, based upon what the prophecies say. It says, verse 8, it says, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. So their kings represent the elites, you know, the elites of Esau, all right, from the Rothschilds on down, and even the elites of these other nations. You know, all of them are gonna be basically put under arrest. All right, and we're going to throw their ass in the pit, you know, and then they're going to be the first crop of slaves in the kingdom of heaven. OK, it says to bind their kings with chains and nobles with fetters of iron. Those are basically a symbolic for uh, servitude, slavery. And then it says verse nine to execute upon them the judgment written. This is on, uh, this is honor. Have slack it. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, So this is about to take place, man. The, the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son is about to let the Israelites basically get payback, man. Payback on our enemies, those that did us wrong. You know, and in doing that, we're basically going to seize the throne. All right? Just like in the movie. Macbeth. This is uh, Numbers, another future prophecy. Chapter 24, verse 17. It says, I shall, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not uh, nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, which the star is talking about Yahweh Shai, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, which a scepter is symbolic for a ruler or rulership. All right, a government. It says, and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheth, meaning these heathen nations. 18 and Edom, all right, who's Edom? The so called white man, you so called white people. Which, again, if you watch the trailer, you know, from 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 you know, from the footage I've watched and I've gathering, Denzel, who's Macbeth, is knocking these Edomites off, <laughs> you know, so that's that's spiritual. So it says, and Edom shall be a possession. So, in the in the in the in the time to come, the Israelites are going to possess the Edomites. It says, Seir shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. See that? So not only we're we going to possess the Edomites, we're going to possess their land. We're going to possess their their, their so-called possessions. And the Lord is going to let us do valiantly. Man, the Lord going to raise us up and give us power. Uh, twenty-four nineteen. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, which is Yahweh Shai. Along with his elect and shall destroy him that remaineth in the city. OK, so Yahweh Shah is about to get down on you Edomites, man, with along with his elect, elect men of the nation of Israel and power is going to be transferred, man. Another scripture, Daniel 7 and 18, right? Scriptures that we all read and know, right? It says, but the saints of the most high, which again, the saints of the Israelites, the uh, holy ones, because not everybody is a saint. The title of saints only applies to Israel. Because that's the only people that the Lord 
took unto himself. He separated us from you other nations. So it says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. See that? And it's going back to the point of the video. All right. The movie uh, Macbeth. All right. You see the movie stills there. All right. Let's read the synopsis again. It says a brave Scottish general named Macbeth receives a prophecy. Right. Which is spiritual from a trio of, of witches that one day he will become king of Scotland. And that's hey, the scriptures tell us that through the prophecies where we're all right. And by we, I'm talking about the Israelites, starting with the elect. We're going to receive the world. All right. Hell, the whole universe. One day we will be kings and priests pursuing the revelations five and ten on the earth. Right. It says what? It says, consumed by ambition and spurred into action by his wife, Macbeth murders King Duncan and takes the Scottish throne for himself. See, now I don't, like I said, I don't know, uh, I don't re really remember the whole story or the play, but that's the main point that, you know, basically, you know, inspired this video, man, as far as what, knocking off these other nations and taking the throne for yourself. That's about the manifest, man. Okay. So let's get one more scripture. Revelations 2. In verse 25, it says, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come, which essentially is talking about this truth. You hold on to your, this truth, this knowledge and understanding and wisdom and the faith in your shy. You hold you hold on to that until he come. 26, it says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. So the Lord is going to give us authority and give us leverage over these other heathen nations. If we continue in the works and keep the faith. 27. And he shall rule them with the rod of iron. See that? So this is a separation. And this, this is talking about in the kingdom. So the kingdom of heaven is not going to be no equal opportunity. You're going to have rulers. Those who have scepters. That are, that, are, that are enforcing the Lord's Statutes commandments. You're going to have those that's in, a, uh, in a, that's in a position of servitude. We're talking about the heathens. That's why it says that. He shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessel, vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father. So we're going to break these nations up. The Israelites, man, that's going to be in the domin dominant position. You know, the heads of the earth, the kings and priests. We're going to enforce the Lord's Statutes commandments. On the heathens, and that's how the kingdom is going to be governed under the Lord's statutes, commandments, and righteousness of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. This is all coming very, very soon. So that's pretty much it, man. You know, I just wanted to bring out a couple of points. This, this, this movie trailer you know, kind of inspired me. I was just thinking about that. Getting vengeance, man. Getting vengeance on the enemies. And and um um, you know, getting that throne, man. You know, so Lord Willens was edifying, all right? And Lord Willens, if this, you know, movie comes out, you you know, I'm sure a brother's going to do responses and may, you know, talk about it or whatever. But, you know, I'm I'm, I'm going to sign off there, all right? Giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rechah Kodash. And Lord Willens, to the next uh, video, we say Shalom.